But what's good, y'all? What's going on? It's Corner Sports Net. Do not forget to subscribe, uh, like, share, and comment if you haven't already done so. I'm looking at the NBA Greatest 75 list. Looking at some stats. And I'm looking at these guys. Like, some of these guys shouldn't have made the list. But Bill Walton, he should. he's a great guy. Great person. Um, he was great in high school and college, man. But the guy scored 6,000 points as a pro. 6,000 points. He had like 4,000 rebounds. So why is he making every list? Top 50. Top 75. Why? Look, he shouldn't be on. He should not be on the top 75. He had a great college career, great high school career. Did not have one great year in the NBA, 1977, and he's on the top 75 over guys like Kyrie Irving, Tracy McGrady, Vince Carter, Dwight Howard, who was an eight-time All Star. He's going to finish his career probably top 10 in rebounds. Uh, he was Defensive Player of the Year a couple of times. So how in the world Dwight Howard's not on the list? Now, look, Bill Walton, like a, he a great guy. Funny guy, witty, hippie, all that, cool, whatever. But 6,000 points? He should even, he should have never made the top 50 NBA players. Should have never made, he should definitely not made the top 75. Look, I'm not the only guy. To say this, I mean, Shaquille O'Neal has said the same thing. All right, Bill Walton is a great person, but he's just, they need to stop putting him on all these lists. I just mentioned a bunch of guys he had that had better careers than Bill Walton that didn't make the list. Alex English had a better career. Uh, Bernard King had a better career. But Bill Walton is on, on the top 75 with 6,000 points and like 4,000 rebounds. Come on, we got to do better than this. NBA, you got to do better than this. And I have nothing personally against Bill Walton. He just shouldn't be making all these lists. That's all. And Dwight Howard got screwed. Tracy McGrady got screwed. Bernard King got screwed. Alex Inglis got screwed. All those guys had a way better career than Bill Walton. That's all I'm saying. But we got to stop putting Bill Walton on these lists.